Hello dear students, welcome in this online sessions of the 8th standard English medium and the cha chapter and the lesson which we are going to learn today is depending upon a subject which is known as SS and that lesson is consisting a very beautiful topic today whose heading is related to the environmental change. Now before I start the lesson I would like to tell you some detailed theories related to this change here that the chapter number 7 is not only relating with the environmental change it is also relating with the energy resources in this lesson. As you all may have heard about the basic theory related to the energy and the concept of development too. In this we can say that some of the energy which I will define in this chapter will be related to the extinguishable resources and also non extinguishable too here. It means that the resources which can be ending also and the resources which are available inside the unlimited amount in the nature or you can say that in the world. So therefore if you go more further in this theory of the concept we will also study about the countries like Russia, the countries like Brazil, Iran, the countries like Philippines, Saudi Arabia, what kind of heat, temperature, climate, rain they measures for and also what is temperature theory, what is climatical change and weather forecasting too also. So this lesson is also going to be very interesting for you all my dear students and I hope that you will enjoy the lesson. So let's start the lesson. Chapter number 7 environmental change and lesson number 7 also. So therefore we can say that in this lesson as we have known about that earth is actually enveloped. The earth is enveloped most of the sides by the help of the air. Now what is air? Moving wind can be said as air. As you can see it is odorless, it is tasteless, it is colorless and also it is any kind of shape. So it is shapeless to here. Therefore we can say that air is playing a very vital role in our general daily to day life. Not only life, we can understand that apart from the life, it is also related with our life existence theory too here. Air consists of 78% of the nitrogen, 21% of the oxygens and other related theories too here where we can say that okay, this kinds of general concept are also related by this kinds of theories. So let's move further. Now environmental change says that okay, these kinds of topics are not only the Gyan related topic but the topic which is also relating with the basic fundamental duties principles of the nature. I will also make you understand in this theory my dear student that what is the meaning of weather and how it is different from the climate too here. Just you need to stay together with me in this lecture and you need to just focus what I am teaching you as the screen will be showing you all the most detailed theory related to your textbook and the lesson to here. So moving further we can say that the air which is actually enveloping the earth from all the sides is known as the atmosphere. Apart from that atmosphere I can say that the atmosphere is actually getting polluted. Now who is polluting the atmosphere? The first most last basic reason is related to the human existence, human beings. Human beings are the only theory, a concept of development by the God who are actually trying to conquer earth as their own property. Yes, it is the own property of the human beings. But is it so that after needing these kinds of examples, after approving these kinds of examples, we will get the permission to pollute the earth? It is not right in the term, my dear students. Therefore, we need to get closer inside the theory where we need to understand that earth is not a place to be polluted by the human beings. But we are doing that. Carbon monoxide, chlorofluoro, then halocarbon, many kinds of emission of the gases are there in the atmosphere. Therefore, if you go more further, then we can say that it is the factories who are actually releasing the poisons. And not only the factories, it is also related with the temperature which is increased by us, our vehicles and many more other things also, burning of the uh, wood fire and many more kinds of things related to that concept. Therefore, we can say that the activities which are actually related with the environment as well the environmental belief is also trying to be corrupt out and so on. The changes that occur in the atmosphere, in the temperature or we can say direction of the wind and also the moisture many other concept here are due to the changes created by the human beings which is also leading towards a global warming now you might have thinking that what is a global warming there is a special topic about this and that's we will discuss in this mid of the lecture therefore if you go more further we need to understand that in this uh, we can say page number which i'm reading here you can focus on the 7.1 example where the map is also given there and the page number is 37 of your ss textbook semester one 
So now the table which is shown, the table is showing that you can see the table that Russia is actually getting around 15 degrees Celsius of the heat and the cold is minus 20 degrees Celsius where the rainfall is 100 centimeters only. Furthermore, Iran is getting 30% of the, or we can say 30 degrees Celsius of the heat, where the 10% Celsius of the 10 degrees Celsius is actually related with the cold. Furthermore, 50 centimeter is the rainfall. Now, reasons are generally not given that actually you need to find out. Furthermore, we can say Norway is there, Philippines is there, Saudi Arabia, other provinces too are there. So why these are actually located inside this table? Because this is actually a disturbing graph of the calculation where we can say weather has been changed of this kinds of areas. The people are suffering due to that kind of weathers. That's why we are actually referring these kinds of tables here today in this lecture. Also, if you'll move further, then you'll get one concept of the theory. What is weather? Now, different topics are there relating with the weather and climate because weather is a different theory, climate is a different theory. Therefore, we can say that the condition, the temperature and also the rainfall and the moisture, humidity in any region, in any defined region at a particular point of view is can be said as the weather. What is the temperature, air pressure, what is the climate or uh, what is the moisture present currently? That can be said as a weather. Now, weather can be keep changing, my dear student. Weather can be changing time to time, but climate is not changing. To change a climate of a zone, it needs max to max 25 to 35 years at least. You can see the map also. In the map, it is shown easily that how these kinds of places related to the India and Indiana zones are affected by these kinds of climatic change also. So the figure 7.1 in which climatic change is given there you can focus in your textbook too where we can say that the weather is shown inside the map here. So you need to write down your answers in a notebook also related to the weather forecasting and the weather other related you can say phenomenon change to here after observing these kinds of map and as well if you we move further then I will tell you that okay, this is not the theory which is ending till here because it is creating the concept relate, related with the basic internal science of this theory to here. So, whenever, wherever there is some kinds of disturbance created, some kinds of changes can be seen physically on the geographical zones. Furthermore, we can say that, okay, what is climate? If you are understanding about the weather, then you need to also understand, my dear students, about the climate. What is the climate? Now, it is actually proportional opposite to the weather. Now, what is that here? Let's check it out. Climate what is? So we can say that the average condition of any state, region, zone or any area of any, uh, we can say any inhabiting people, anyone. Therefore, it is relating with some kinds of temperature, gauge, pressure and other, uh, uh, we can say growable uh, crops to there. So they can say that the average condition of any uh, rain, then temperature, moisture and also uh, pressure of air which is remaining somehow constant not exactly but we can say somehow relevant and it is not changing suddenly at least for 30 to 35 years as I said you previously 25 to 35 years is known as the climate now if you have not understood still then I would like to tell you that the figure shown in the 7.3 greenhouse effect, the figure shown in the 7.2, the scenes of the greenhouse effect and all is relating to this kinds of climate. And still, if you have still not also understood, then I will just tell you in the simple words, in a very simple word that simple theory relating weather and climate is that weather can be changing from day to night. From the early morning to the evening or the night, it can be keep changing. Climate is not changing. For example, Rajasthan is an area where ice fall is not seen frequently, means ice fall cannot be seen there every time, 100 years or 50 years, 10 years, 15 years, once or twice ice fall can be there. So it is not changing its climate. But if you talk about Shimla, Kulu, Manali, Himalaya, foothills of Himalaya, it is also containing its own climate. There you cannot see the desert. You can't see the desert. So that's how these all the theories and the concept are related with the theory when any zone cannot change. Gujarat is a, is a zone of torrid zone, hot also and humid also. But ice fall is not here. So it's Gujarat climate which is not allowing the ice fall. 
and suddenly it is happening then it can be the effect of global warming too here but it is not a part of its climate it is a part of destruction too so this is the theory related to the concept of weather and the climate see my dear students i'm trying to make you understand very slowly in this lecture so that you can understand and by the figure also you can identify which kind of topic today we are actually leading through so if we go more further then i can tell you that this is depending over the more clearable topic related to the greenhouse and greenhouse farming too here now don't be confused in the greenhouse effect as well the greenhouse farming here so if you go in this detailed form then we can understand that my dear student greenhouse farmings are done specially in the countries we can say that where the sunrise is very low in the amount or you can say that the sunrise is averagely available so that's how it is done the countries with the cold climate receives the less heat therefore the insulation facility is less and they hampers to grow the uh, food and crops and many more other kinds of things too here therefore they are actually using this kinds of things so the vegetables can be grown there other equipments can be grown there and how they are doing they are actually making some kinds of roof which can be transparent and like our doors are open and somebody can enter inside our classroom same as we can see that these roofs are also made by the glass so that sun can be entering inside the hall or inside the area where the plantation is done so the glass roof concept is there which is also related to the greenhouse farming now this is also allowing some amount of sun to be coming downside so we can say that the roof is actually made either of the glass or with the cloth which is allowing the sun rays to come inside also whenever it is penetrating so therefore we can say buildings are also practiced for this kinds of farmings which is also known as the greenhouse farming now in india we don't need this kinds of farming and if you are needing also then we are actually making this kinds of farming in some space area only where this kinds of facilities are available now if we go through with this kinds of process then we can say that okay whenever this kinds of process are done under this kinds of process and circumstances more than one kinds of vegetable flower or whatever you need to grow related to the farming can be also grown there so it is one of the very best and basic need related to the farming and the concept of greenhouse effect also my dear student so moving further as you can see that this farming is very helpful now apart from that if the farming is not there let's carry out the question what is what if the farming is not there what if the rain is not there then at that time you can easily understand that famine can be taking place now what is famine the change in the climate the culture of the climate will be changed out here now what changes can be seen here if there is scanty of rainfall if there is no rainfall or if there is a heavy amount of rainfall in the all conditions i can tell you that whether if the if the weather is heavy enough to pour the water downside like gujarat was receiving this rainfall heavily rajkot sabarkatha surat and all as well in the indian part out of the gujarat we can say that but india india is one of the part like assam bihar okay then chatisgarh and all this all received a heavy amount of rainfall why because there was heavy amount of water poured down even the check dams were also released to be open before they can break out to save the people and to villages also but if we talk about the rajasthan the rainfall was less so heavy amount of rainfall is also destruction no amount of rainfall is also destruction to the devastation it can cause either is it can cause drought like scenario or it can cause starvation to here bhukhmari and furthermore it can be also costing to the environmental changes also where we can say if the heavy amount of rainfall is there then obviously there are the chances where we can say that ki flood can be coming out so that's the amount of flood which can be seen here so therefore we can say that global warming is the basic concept related with this kinds of sudden change in the climate sudden change you know the meaning of sudden change extraordinary change which is taking place directly without any kind of information towards the human existence so if you go more further then we can say that my dear students ke global warming refers to the sudden change unequal and an average change which is actually taking change inside the atmosphere then earth climate and system of the greenhouse is also changing due to this kinds of things so the greenhouse gases are also affecting maximum in this kinds of change now you can see the figure 7.5 the greenhouse effect 
in this figure you can identify that how and in which condition the ozone layer is penetrated the meaning of penetrated means to create the holes now during the day of lockdown like we can say likewise three to four months people were not going outside of their home industries were also partially shut out ozone hole which was created over the geographical zone where the canada is lying there is now filled why it is filled because we have not used our vehicle we have not used our industry in that much way as much we were using till now so we can say earth is getting healthier because due to presence of carbon monoxide hello carbon then we can say like chlorofluoro gases and all we actually made this whole of the atmosphere the ozone layer polluted therefore we are now only responsible for this kinds of incident which is actually a devastating incident related to the concept of theory so you can see in the figure number 7.5 the greenhouse effect gases can be creating the global warming the chimneys the cars and many more kinds of things to hear my dear students so this lecture is actually not only the lecture depending upon the theory related to the concept of belief and the thinking it is also for the work progress you need to go you need to work hard for the general basic belief related to this concept and the theories to here so as if 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 we move further then we can go on the next page and in the page number 40 you can focus the first paragraph that is actually referring that okay newspaper or we can say that the news from the newspaper is giving some kind of detail now what is the detail what is the concept of theory related to the newspaper let's check it out here so the newspaper is giving the details related to the concept that an average increase of the five degree celsius five degree celsius temperature in the western europe and also the heat experience inside 14 degree temperature inside the darjeeling and which reaches which is reaching most maximum to the 28 degrees celsius can be seen and it was also calculated inside the 2009 now darjeeling is the area where the temperature is lower but now it is exceeding due to help of 5 degrees celsius why it is exceeding there are some kinds of reasons for that the tourism emergence the vehicle importance the burning of the coal and wood also releasing of smokes the industrial benefits benefiting their own self by releasing the carbon in the atmosphere these all are the basic concepts which are actually helping ozone layer to destruct so you need to understand we need to take care of this temperature is increasing my dear student and temperature is keep increasing it is more keeping increasing now this is not only the it we can say that one more of the theory is related with that which can say mumbai is also relating with the theory other states are also related with the theory so we'll go concept wise in this lesson now in this mumbai receives 942 milliliters millimeters of the rainfalls now 942 ml of the rainfall in one day that is like 2005 it is also very extraordinary you can understand it can be creating a flood also therefore we can say these are also the concept and example to here same as we can say increasing temperature of the australia burning the forest fire they are burning the whole of the forest California's forest are burning, Australia's forest are burning, 2005, 2004 if you talk about submerging of the Sundarban forest of our Bengal, India. Sundarban forest is famous for the Royal Bengal tiger but it is also actually submerging inside the water. Submerging means water is actually covering the space area of the Sundarban. So that is also one of the theory of the concept where we can say Sundarban is also affected by these kinds of theories. Later more we can say that ki reduction of the atmosphere and also reduction of the 5 km uh, we can say space area at Kumbu snow where Nepal is there means nowadays snow is melting sometimes the area when the snow is also occurring most extra why because because ice caps are melting and sometimes temperature is also falling so it is uncertain change my dear student it is uncertain change that we are actually trying to understand in this theory of the concept and this lecture too so same as we can say ice caps are melting and somehow 
3250 square kilometers melts ice during 35 days in the antarctica can you imagine this thing here also source of water are drying up means the drinkable water sources are also drying up as well we are not using the water in a judicial manner as well we are not using the water inside the basic manner where we need to understand the facility of the water the uses of the water and the value of water to here that's how the water is also reduced out it is reducting therefore so these are the basic concept and this is only not it my dear student you can see the figure number 7.6 which is actually showing the temperature of the earth now this is showing the temperature of the earth and it is also showing the condition of the earth actually not only the temperature of the earth, this is showing the proper condition of the earth too here how the earth is now becoming slowly and slowly so let's get further and check it out here so the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide as i said you methane then furthermore nitrous oxide and also we can say chlorofluorocarbon as i said you and as i mentioned you also and furthermore we can say other related carbon monoxide greenhouse effect greenhouse gases affect the earth here an active role they are playing in the proportion of the gases increasement too so when the gases are increasing we can say it is leading the problem to the global warming also warming means heat global means the globe international heat or we can say that the heat over whole of the world whole of the earth and that's how the global warming is keeping changes to come and to make destruction towards the world also and towards the earth too here so you can see in the figure number 7.7 also each of the person in the world we can say they are releasing 4.5 metric tons of the carbon dioxide each of the people and this is actually calculated over the 100 year ago amount of the we can say graph calculation that is if we talk about the 100 year ago the amount of the carbon dioxide was 275 ppm and today it is 350 ppm so therefore you can understand that this is actually one of the proportion where we needed to understand the theory and the concept and the belief and the position what we are actually doing and creating to here so as if move further as if we move further then we can say the graph is given there on the uh, we can say on the page which is actually displaying in your textbook and you can easily find out that okay, this graph is showing the basic belief and the benefit related to the concept of the global temperature which is also increasing see my dear students if we'll just become selfish if we'll just become selfish and if we'll just think of ourselves only then upcoming generation will be in the trouble that we will not actually try actually we need to take some oath that we will not try to make upcoming generation suffer due to these kinds of problem therefore i can say that okay, that is the reason where i am making you to understand this lecture very with ease and the properly too with the figurative diagram also now in this chart also you can you can see that which appliances at your home which appliances at your home are emitting the amount of gases two to three i will read furthermore you need to just focus on there so i'm reading here the study the table okay the study the table as much you can like temperature about uh, we can say thermal power station like 200 megawatt current they are generating yearly and now they emit nine lakh tons of the gases of the greenhouse furthermore motor car that you're having the cars and all like 24 hours or yearly if you calculate 17 crore of the tons they emit the gases uh, then air condition ac average if you're running for the two hours 24 hours if you calculate then 2230 kg of the carbon or we can say like greenhouse gases are emitted by these kinds of theories so we can say refrigerator computer tube light tv maximum things which we are using are actually the bridge to go on the world's end i hope you are understanding these all the things are steps they are the steps which are taking us to the end and one day the world the earth will be also ending out here so in this session i'm trying to make you understand about the basic theory general concept and also relating theories where we can focus this kinds of matter here now moving on the page nitrous oxide now the proportion of the nitrous oxide is also increasing from 270 ppm now it is recently we can say 319 ppm this is actually ppm is a calculative we can say theory where you can measure the amount of gases in the atmosphere which is polluting that amount of proportion of that 
then furthermore we can say cfc chlorofluorocarbon now due to the resulting these kinds of emergence or the foam plastic or we can say refrigerator air condition then circuits of other materials also or the circuit of aerosol spray many more kinds of things particles which are actually free in the size are also raging into the microns and they're also mixed with the atmosphere therefore we can say 10 micron is also one of the known as the aerosol as we can just get the calculation and there has been also increase in the CFC that is chlorofluorocarbon gas is also increasing nowadays now where you will find this chlorofluorocarbon gas there must be a question my dear student there must be a question now the question is that the CFL that is chlorofluorolite CFL gas is consisting this kinds of chlorofluorocarbon that's why the government is actually making you to go towards LED that is light emission diode and LED lights are less consumable with the energy they emit the light more furthermore they are non-pollutant also they're like eco-friendly somehow not 100% so these are the general thing and you need to always understand in my lecture and you can see the beautiful figures given there like March 2001 7 figure 7 uh, the figure 7.9 gradual change which is observed in the glaciers March 2001 you can see July 1st 2003 then you can go with the June 19 2006 and all these all the kinds of figures are given there inside the textbook which is making you understand the basic detail and the concept of this lesson where you can deal with your theories and the knowledge too here so as if we go more further my dear student then we can say energy is divided into the basic categories and the resources too here now what are the categories what are the resources that we need to also understand in the lecture let's see it out here energy resources can be divided into two parts here non-conventional and the conventional source of energy therefore we can say that okay, there has been an increase in natural calamities like famine okay then cyclone flood an excessive amount of rainfall also in this 10 year the climate is keeping a disturbing change internally as i said you climate needs maximum time to change weather doesn't needs that so the nowadays climate is changing any of the state any of the zone can be experiencing the flood the other things also relating factor we can say okay it is also related with the places receiving the heavy rainfall and also some of the places which are having no rainfall so what will happen in this case and condition when there is no rainfall see i am reading on the page number 43 when there is no rainfall then the people will die due to hunger and when there is extra rainfall then people will die due to water so therefore we can say the experiencing areas like dubai receives less amount of rainfall but sometimes it receives heavy amount of rainfall also and the melting of glaciers you can check it out here which has increased in the water level of the oceans are increasing furthermore we can say temperature are increasing human beings are victimized sometimes human beings are dehydrated feeling dehydration malnutrition nutrition lack of food they are getting just because of climate is changing and due to increase in this kinds of sun rays also maximum or many kinds of skin diseases are also can be seen there therefore we can say temperature will be changing consciously if the human beings are not making proper balance with the nature so we need to make a proper balance towards the nature also my dear student we need to understand that what is the value of nature therefore we can go more further and if you talk about the ozone gas the marked declining inside the proportion of agriculture can be also seen there furthermore the frequency of the diseases can be seen very high like cholera plague we can say dengue and other kinds of diseases are also there related to malaria yellow fever swine flu hay fever and the currently disease which is actually making whole of the world to travel and to trouble and whole of the school students to sit at home and watch this lecture at home is that covid 19 it is also one of the very pandemic situation created by this covid 19 and the disease corona virus this is very dangerous so we can say the climate is keeping in change and the disasters are coming again and again so this lecture is depending on this kinds of situation and also if you talk about some of the countries like australia and all then we can say that area near the sea coast of the australia is sometime uh, we can say like flooded out submerging and if you talk about the nearing areas then all the areas which is actually coastal like maldives are there then bangladesh is there philippines is that and west india or western part of the indias are there like western indies are there and other australia have also submerged most of the part inside the water because of glaciers melting 
and furthermore we can say that this is optical change which we can observe which we can see and some changes are happening internal towards the atmosphere or underground to the earth too here therefore we can say according to the institution and the uh, according to a survey of the gujarat we can say it is it is also said that gujarat is also not having a good amount of climate sometimes the climate is heavy with the rainfall and sometimes it is actually loaded with the no or we can say scanty of the rainfall too here therefore the gujarat will have to be migrate if this is condition happening then we can say that according to an to an institution named greenpeace approximately 55 lakh people living in the gujarat will have to migrate from gujarat in the year 2000 or we can say like 2000 because it will be submerged inside the water the area of kutch every time is actually some of the centimeter submerging into the water and slowly slowly gujarat will submerge into the water and therefore we will be having no land to live in the gujarat we need to move further so we are having some amount of time only to live in the gujarat that's a general thing so come forward come together to save the nature also we can say that the flowers are losing their fragrance as well due to the global warming and beehives are also disappearing fast here you will see less amount of must, uh, this amount of honey bees honey combs beehives and all why because because these are not available now and if they are available they are available in the some amount of limited areas only so furthermore we can say this all the concept of the theory is depending over the situation of the knowledgeable fact and we need to understand how to save the nature so this lecture is still here only my dear student in the upcoming lecture of the second part of this lecture this was the first part i will make you understand about the powerful resources the resources related to the earth and related to the human beings too here i hope this lecture was interesting for you and i also hope that this lecture made maximum amount of knowledge inside you as well whenever you are listening this video lecture of mine you need to sit with a textbook and as well i am telling you the page number and the figurative diagram also 7.3 7.1 9.1 9.2 you have to focus in that also that's why you will get the proper experience of a classroom okay till then you can take care my dear students jai hind